Today we're talking about that time in World War II when the Marine Corps decided they didn't like their standard issue machine gun, so they went ahead and built their own. Ladies and gentlemen, the M2 Stinger. Created from the parts of three other guns, this Franken Gat weighs in at 25 pounds, not including the 100 rounds of ammunition hanging off the side of it. I'm trying to tell you this is a reasonable weapon for concealed carry. Speaking of concealed carry, this video is brought to you by the United States Concealed Carry Association, where for only a few dollars a month you can get professional training, education, and in the unfortunate event you need it, legal help. Look, it's basically insurance for shooting bad guys, okay? Speaking of shooting bad guys, the M2 is capable of firing 1,200 rounds per minute. That is 20 freedom seeds per second. And when I say freedom seed, we're talking about 30-06. That's one of the recommended rounds if you wanted to go hunting bears, and you're gonna fire 20 of them in a second. Look, if you upset the Marine holding this thing, you better hope your family's like Pepperidge Farm, because the only thing they're gonna be able to do is remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. You're gonna be holier than the Pope, and the next text message you get's gonna be from a fucking Ouija board. So how did this monstrosity of a grunts and crafts project even become a thing? You see, it all started in 1943 during the Pacific Campaign. The Marine Corps didn't actually have a light machine gun. They were equipped with the Browning Model 1919, which is a great machine gun, but it's also very heavy. It required two men to carry it. One guy had to carry the gun and the ammunition. Another guy had to carry the tripod and spare parts. And then once a firefight did start, you had to mount the machine gun to the tripod, then get the ammo in it, then start returning fire, all while probably getting shot at from a fortified enemy machine gun position. It was definitely not ideal. Then the Marines would come across a salvage yard with some airplanes in it. In those airplanes were the Browning Model 1919, but these were the aircraft variant that had almost double the fire rate. So Marines being Marines decided that they would strategically transfer that equipment to an alternate location. Once at that alternate location, they equipped it with the butt stock of an M1 Garand, a custom homemade trigger, the bipod of a BAR, and then mounted a 100 round ammo can directly on the side of it. This now had double the fire rate of their normal Model 1919, and could be carried by one man as opposed to two, while being loaded, meaning that if they were ambushed, he could start firing right away. It could be fired from the hip, or from a prone position using the bipod. Now only six of these were officially known to have been made and used in combat, but it's pretty well documented that they were extremely effective against the enemy. In conclusion, while only six of them were ever made, they will be remembered probably forever, not only because they're fucking cool, but they are a shining example of all the weird irregular shit the Marine Corps will do to kill a motherfucker. Because at the end of the day, the real weapon is the creativity and the ingenuity of the grunt. Seriously, the two most creative demographics on the planet, stoners that are trying to build a bong, and grunts that are trying to kill a motherfucker. Like if Elon really wants to make it to Mars, all he has to do is tell the Marine Corps there's crans and bad guys up there. The motherfuckers will be there by next week. They'll fucking walk there if they have to. Thanks for watching. Best way to support the channel is go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. We've got new designs every month. This month we've got the USS New Jersey and freedom fractions. So until next time, Quack Bang out.